Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and today I'm sharing the Revine uh, book number two uh, again in the math series and stay tuned guys, I am also getting the English, Hindi and uh, Spanish because that's something that Vivan is learning. All the three book series also would be coming up very very soon. I'm already working on the English one right now. Okay, so going forward, uh, I'm going to share the link of the book one that I did with Vivan and the whole concept was to just brush up uh the the concepts that we did um the last whole year and just to do the activities and keep um i mean just just for a revision that's why the book name is called the Revine series okay going in forward i have uh, written the topics that we are doing in this book is time uh, subtraction multiplication odd and even so for time i have written the hour hand minute hand quarter past to half past subtraction and in multiplication we are doing array and grouping so that's the first activity guys here and it says any time and what i've done is i've made these four um, uh, clock times here and there's a time that shows here and it, the same thing has been written here somewhere so what he has to do he needs to find the right one and he needs to match it so whether it's 25 minutes 25 minutes past 8 o'clock he needs to find where is that one and then he needs to match it together um this is something that vivan has done in case if he has forgotten i would he would need some help so at that point of time i would not be starting the activity i would go back to our concept board which was uh, the clock or the timing uh, series that i did i will link up that as well um and i i don't know why i have this feeling that he's totally forgotten about this because the other day or maybe a couple of days back i was asking him something and he said i don't know anything about it so it's kind of funny i know so we can go i mean definitely uh, we can go back and forth and we can revise okay build the clock so you have four dinosaurs here who are telling you the time and then you have to make the same time here if it says 420 you have to make 420 here with the hour hand and the minute hand now it says adding time so if you see there are like four there are these eight clocks here and there are eight ones here every clock says a time if it says this is 11 o'clock it says two hours later so Vivan needs to make this one here if it says 11 he needs to add two hours to it and make it here which is going to be one o'clock here half an hour later if that's 1 30 he needs to make here two o'clock this says four hours later, so he needs to add four and then make it here. So this is primarily an hour later, something to do with the clock, but in a very different way. Uh, then we have another one, which is quarter hours. That's like quarter to one o'clock, quarter past nine o'clock, half past three o'clock, quarter to three o'clock. So you have all the timing here. He needs to look at the number and then find uh, write the number uh, correspondingly. Uh, if you if you guys think that this is way too hard for your kids, just try and simple and adapt to the time that or adapt the way he likes or he can do it. Okay, which problem give the correct answer? So here you have subtraction. What I've done is I've written the number here 9 and I've given him a lot of solutions. Uh, there could be an addition also in between. Uh, he needs to find the right answer by circling it. So it says 10 minus 1 is 9, right? So he needs to circle that. 5, 6, 7, 8, no. 7, 8, 9, 10, no. 11 minus 2. So he needs to circle the right one and he needs to, then that's going to be the right answer. So, so it's 9, 9, 5, 8, 12, 11, 7. And then you have all the answers here. For rough work, I have given him some space just right here so that if he wants to like um, just do the math, he can use the space. Okay, so this is like subtract, add on the way, enjoy the food carnival uh, along the way paying for what you eat so as you i just went to a carnival with vivan and i thought it's going to be a great idea to put it right here um so what you have to do is you have to go three plus two then you write it there that five minus two comes to three so this thing i've already done primarily for him and then just on the way he needs to keep adding subtracting and then he would finally come to the answer which is eight so if anywhere he goes up and down this answer will not be right or this answer because i've written answers a lot at a lot of places and those will not be right it's it's something that he's trying something like this so maybe what we'll do is we'll try and do this at one time maybe and then this another time or if he's okay doing it then maybe we can try and finish it maybe in in, in a day's time 
Okay, this is also something absolutely new that I'm trying with him. It's called subtraction puzzle. And it's primarily more like a grid. So you have 8 minus 3, it comes to what? And then minus 7. And then you have to look at the answer, which is then minus 8. And then 8 minus 4, whatever the answer is, then you write here. And that's going to be the answer here. So uh, when I'm doing it, uh, I've not written the complete answers right here guys and that's something for Vivan to figure out if you think this is way too tedious and if you think you haven't understood this activity do let me know because somewhere I think that this is gonna be like a little tricky uh, I'll try and record and if you get stuck here then you would be seeing this activity a lot more in the coming books okay so take it away and write the number so you have all these dominoes dots here he needs to tell the remaining numbers it's, it's primarily subtraction and uh, there are like 20 of 20 dots yeah i think so 5 10 15 20 yeah there are 20 of them and then i have removed it and he needs to write the answer at the place that is given right here so i think it will be pretty fun for him Okay, now we have the multiplication and uh, I have written like 2 into 2, 1 into 3, 1 into 5 and then you have a small number here and then the answer is right here. So like 2 into 2 is 4. He needs to find something which is 4 and like this. Okay, and he needs to write 1 here. Uh, then he needs to, it's like two in, 1 into 2 is 2 and then he needs to write a 9 here. Okay, 5, 1 into 5 is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no. Oh, uh, where's five? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Well, oh, no, that's four. One, two, three, four, five. That's the one. So it's not going to be easy. And it's, I think it's going to be a pretty nice activity to figure out and write the numbers correspondingly. Okay, sharing is fun. Each set of objects share amongst the people shown. So share between two. So what he needs to do, he needs to make a, a like with the help of a pencil or a marker or anything, he needs to divide this group into two parts or basically he needs to share. So if you have four and equal parts, you will give four to one and another four to the other one. So in the same way, it's like sharing between four, amongst five, among three, among four, again. I think a, a very simple but nice way of just practicing multiplication, not by actually, actually asking like what is two into three or five into four or five into six. Um, then you have uh, multiplication rows and uh, here you have 3 into 4 and what Vivan needs to do is I've also written in, a, in this form where 4 plus 4 plus 4 and then he needs to find the answer 4 into 5, 2 into 4, 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 5 into 2 and he needs to then figure it out and then write the answer correspondingly. Okay, uh, are you even or odd be my side? So as you can see, all these funny shapes that I've put, they are whether you are even or odd. And then you have to like count each side and then write here the number uh, in terms of how many sides it has and whether it's an E or an O. Like correspondingly, all of them. And I'm telling you, it's, it's so much fun it's going to be because all these funny shapes are out from a puzzle that I've used. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun doing this activity. Okay, um, even or odd, count me and tell on me. So you can see in one circle, I have used many various lines, shapes. He needs to primarily like count. Okay, I'll just keep the focus right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's an even number. He needs to count and then he needs to write an E here. So let's see this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a... Oh, sorry, that was an odd number. That's an even number. I'm so sorry. I got confused. So primarily like this, you have all these shapes and you have to tell them whether it's odd and even. And then you have odd or even subtraction and addition together. It's 8 minus 2, whatever is the answer. Is it odd or even? 10 minus 4, whatever is the answer. Is it odd or even? 32 plus 4, it's an odd or even. You need to write the answer. First, 32 plus 4, you have to write the answer. And then whether it's even or odd, you have to write the answer. And then the last page is for rougher, guys. So that's it. This was my book, guys. If you really like the book, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't understood something, please uh, feel free to ask me. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.